Hello there and welcome to our video about the order of operations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage the order of operations correctly using a number of different calculators. Whichever calculator is yours, you can skip to that part of the video. I'm going to start today with the TI-30X2S. And our problem is going to be to find the value of 2 plus 3 over 4 times 5. Now, for this particular calculator, the TI-30X2S, I recommend that you place parentheses around the numerator and around the denominator. I've put them in blue. They may not always give you those parentheses, but for this calculator, it's a good idea to enter them that way. So I'm going to start by hitting the open parentheses button here above the numbers and say 2 plus 3. Then we have to close the parentheses using this other parentheses key. Then divide. For the division bar, we simply place a division sign next. The TI-30X2S will put a slash, but that'll work. Then we open the parentheses again, place the 4 times 5, so 4 times 5, close parentheses, and now we press enter. This gives us 0.25. Now if you want this to change to fraction form, there is a way to do that in this calculator. It's this button here that has FD in blue. To access this, we say second, the button in the upper left, and then FD. This says answer arrow FD. What this does is change any decimals to fractions. Press enter, and now the calculator gives us an answer in fractional form. Now, let's say you forgot the parentheses. Let's say you said 2 plus 3 divide 4 times 5. You would get something completely different. 5.75 is not the correct answer, so it is critical to include the parentheses. Now we'll repeat this operation in the TI-30XS. This particular calculator does have a button that we can use. This button reading N over D. This places a box, a division bar, and then another box below it. The top box will be where we place the numerator. The numerator is 2 plus 3. So we'll place that on the top. You can enter parentheses around it. It won't hurt anything if you do. In this particular case, we don't really have to. Now to enter the denominator, we press the down arrow on this little oval. When we press down on it, it moves to the bottom. Then we can enter 4 times 5. 4 multiply 5. When we press enter, it gives us the answer 1 over 4 in fraction form. If you wish to change this to a decimal, you can place the arrow keys right here. It will automatically change it to a decimal for you. Now we'll do this operation again using the TI-36X Pro. This calculator tends to be fairly common in first year level math classes. With the TI-36X, press this button that has the two boxes with the bar between them. On the top, we place the numerator. The numerator says 2 plus 3. Let's enter it here. Now, to begin entering the denominator, we place a down button on this oval, and then 4 times 5. 4, multiply, 5, and just press enter. We get 1 quarter. If you want this in decimal form, you can press the button right above enter that has the two arrows on it. And we get 0.25 for our answer. Now we'll repeat this problem using the TI-83+. Now, the first thing we need to do 
is place parentheses around the numerator. The TI-83 has some difficulty handling fractions that have multiple operations in them. So rather than just saying 2 plus 3, I'll say open parentheses using this key, 2 plus 3, close the parentheses using the other parentheses key, and then place a division sign next. This tells the TI-83 that the things that came before are the numerator, and the things coming after are the denominator. We'll press the left parentheses again and enter 4 times 5 for the denominator, and then close parentheses again using this key. This gives us 0.25. Now in the TI-83, you may also change this into fractional form by pressing this button that says Math. This will bring up a complicated looking menu. We only need option 1, the option that says Arrow Fraction. We press Enter, and then press Enter a second time. This gives us 1 quarter. Note that if you forget to use the parentheses, or you place them in the wrong position, you would end up with a completely different answer. Now I'll show you how to handle this operation using the TI-84+. Now the TI-84+, is similar to the TI-83, in that it's kind of difficult to handle these fractions, so we're going to need to begin by placing a parentheses around the numerator. We'll say open parentheses using this button, 2 plus 3, close the parentheses. This parentheses shows that the 2 plus 3 is the numerator and nothing else is. Press the division key, and now the 4 times 5 also needs its own parentheses. Open parentheses, 4 times 5, and then close parentheses the same way. If we press enter, we get 0.25. To change this into a fraction, it's very similar to the TI-83. We press math, and then option 1 will be changed to fraction. Press enter, and enter one more time. This gives us 1 quarter. For those of you using the TI-89 Titanium, as indicated by this sign, once again we're going to need to use parentheses around both the numerator and the denominator, because the TI-89 doesn't have a very convenient way for us to enter fractions. So we'll begin with open parentheses here, enter the 2 plus 3, close the parentheses, and now press the division key. This specifies that the numerator is completed, and now we begin the denominator. We open another parentheses to show the denominator has started. We say 4 times 5, and close the parentheses. Then we press Enter. And our answer is 0.25. If you'd like the answer to be represented as a fraction, that's going to take a little bit of work. First, we press the mode key in between home and catalog. The option we're looking for is on page 2, so we press the F2 key now. And there's an option, second from the bottom, saying exact slash approximate. We press down on this little arrow until we have our option saying approximate highlighted. Then press the right arrow to open the menu. Now you see that it lists auto, exact, and approximate. We press the up arrow to highlight exact, press enter, and then press enter a second time. You see the problem that we worked is still in the bottom bar right here, meaning now we can just press enter. And it says 1 over 4. Thank you for watching. If you found us useful, Feel free to fill out the survey in the link below, and we'll see you again next video.